Sand is one of the most common materials on Earth. We associate it with the beach, building castles, or using construction. And yet it turns out it may hold the answer to one of the biggest problems in modern energy. Thanks to the smart use of its properties, so-called sand batteries are being created, massive heat storage units that are already operating in Finland and can replace entire power plants. Can ordinary grains of sand help us solve the problem of energy storage? Let's talk more about it. Sand batteries use ordinary sand instead of expensive metals or electronics. Due to this simplicity, they are among the most interesting technologies for energy storage in the new era of renewable resources. The basic principle is storing energy in the form of heat. This is technically called thermal accumulation. When there is an excess of electricity available, for example, during strong winds or sunshine, this energy powers a heating coil that warms the air. The air is then blown into an insulated container full of sand, which can be heated to temperatures exceeding 500 degrees Celsius. It is used either directly for heating buildings or for industrial processes where hot air or steam is needed. The magic of sand batteries lies in their simplicity. Sand is cheap, easily available, non-flammable, and chemically stable. Unlike traditional batteries, it does not require the mining of rare metals or complex recycling processes. And what's more, sand practically does not wear out. The technology is not yet used for electricity production, but that could change in the future. An efficient steam generator would be enough, and sand would turn into a reservoir capable of providing not only heat but also electricity. The idea of storing energy in the form of heat is not entirely new. In the past, various materials were used, such as molten salts for solar power plants in deserts, where they produce electricity even at night. However, sand is more accessible and can withstand even higher temperatures, making it a more versatile means for long-term energy storage. An interesting concept was also introduced by the Israeli company Bren Miller Energy, which uses crushed rocks for heat storage. Their technology uses excess electricity or waste heat to heat air, which then flows through heated rocks. The stored energy is later converted back into hot air or steam, which can be immediately used in industry. Crushed rocks are more suitable for compact modular systems that can be easily installed directly into factories or industrial operations. In contrast, sand is cheaper and ideal for large volume static storage, for example, for urban heating. Renewable sources have one fundamental weakness. Their output fluctuates. Sometimes they produce so much electricity that there is nowhere to store it, and other times there is desperately little. Without large capacity storage, it is practically impossible to base energy solely on wind and sun. Sand batteries can thus represent a solution for countries that have a developed system of electricity production from renewable sources, but are also struggling with its instability. The largest project of its kind was recently established in the Finnish town of Pornanen, where the company Polar Night Energy built a 13-meter sand battery. This steel tower filled with sand can store up to 100 megawatt hours of heat, enough to heat an entire city for about a week. When there is a surplus of cheap electricity from wind and sun, the sand is heated to 600 degrees Celsius, and the heat remains stored for several months. The hot air from the battery then heats water for households or produces steam for industry. The efficiency exceeds 90%, and the technology demonstrates how sand batteries can balance fluctuations in the grid and become key to the clean energy of the future. Thanks to this, the Finnish town no longer needs to burn wood chips. Carbon dioxide emissions have dropped by more than 70%, and it has a stable heat source even on the coldest days. Polar Night Energy has also previously tested the first commercial version in Finland. However, their new battery is record-breaking and shows that the technology can be deployed on a large scale. Interestingly, sand batteries are not limited to giant industrial installations, in Latvia, for example, there is a project by the company Batsan, which developed a smaller home version of the sand battery. It can supply heat to up to two households and operates on the same principle as the large systems in Finland. The sponsor of this channel is Buddy, your mentor and AI friend. Just enter buddy.fm and you can try it for free. Sand batteries, of course, also have their limits. The biggest one is that they currently cannot efficiently produce electricity. 
Therefore, they are mainly used for heating in industrial applications. However, companies are working on improving this process, for example, using steam generators. Nevertheless, sand has a significant advantage over other materials. It is cheap, safe, and practically available everywhere. And while molten salts or special rocks may have better properties in some parameters, few materials offer as simple and durable a system as sand. In the future, it can be expected that sand batteries will find use beyond Scandinavia. In Southern Europe, they could help with heating in the colder months, but also supply heat for technologically demanding processes, such as desalination of seawater. The potential is truly enormous. From municipal heating plants, which could reduce dependence on gas and coal, to factories combining their own solar panels with sand storage, which would provide them with energy even during the night or winter. A technology that at first glance is incredibly simple could thus become one of the pillars of the energy future. The question is whether sand batteries will one day be part of our energy future. If you enjoyed the video and want to learn more, click like and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes about future technologies. Have a great time and see you soon in the next episode.